Yes. We... Uh, am I clear enough? Can you guys see my face? Yes. I think, I think I'm black. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, we can see your face. Okay. But we can hear you. Can I can I, can I go on? Definitely. All right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. And it's nice to be here once again. Uh, and uh, appreciate the efforts being put together just to, uh, you know, <clears throat> bring something great like up, right? So, uh, living crisis. Well done, uh, Mr. Muiwa. And uh, let me say a great, uh, a great uh, welcome to everyone that was able to register for the program. You know, and you know it's it's not really easy putting together all of your strength and you know your your agility, your your decisions, right? So ensuring that you put into a program, and of course you you, you are picked, and now. Eventually, after that, you are committed to the program, right? So uh, I appreciate everyone, and everyone welcome. So I uh, thank you so much for honoring me by inviting me, by bringing me up on this uh, uh, great platform, right? So thank you so much, Mr. Mwiwa. Thank you, and for the coordinators, thank you so much, and for the listeners, right, and for the participants. So of course, I know it's really going to be a defining moment for everyone of us. So it's not, I know that, uh, uh, definitely, uh, it's really going to be a defining moment. Yes, that's just what I know. That's what I know because uh, the future is actually bright and it's only bright for people that are knowledgeable enough to ap apply uh, what it takes to have a uh, successful future. And what it takes to have a success successful future is uh, coming in into programs like this in timely manners like this to ensuring that, you know, uh, the essential knowledge gain for, uh, for, for, for the application of uh, life is done, right? So, so that when life issues comes, you know how to tackle it and, you know, you make great success from life. So, uh, straightforward. I think my time is, I'm six minutes away from my time. So, uh, Mr. Muiwa, sorry, I'm not sure. How many minutes do I have? Or how many minutes? Yes, definitely. How many minutes do I have? Yeah, about 60. 60. Yeah. So seven, seven minutes is away, right? Yeah. So about 53. Seven minutes. 53. Okay. All right. So just a, a, a second, please. I need to share my screen. Sorry. Just give me a moment. Okay. Can you guys? Yeah, I guess it's coming up. Yeah, we can see this coming now. Elisa, can you hear us? Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, we can see this coming now. Okay. Okay. Not something, bro. Yes, I can. I can. I said, hope it's clear enough. It's not something. Yes, sir. It's clear enough. Hey. Okay. So, we were boys. So, uh, if you if you can actually see my screen, can you give a thumb? Hey. Yeah, we can do it. Mr. Damilari, can you mute yourself? I'll be trying to mute you. Uh, if you don't mute yourself, I'll be help you to just remove yourself, kind of. Um, thank you. All right, you can go on, sorry. All right. All right. So uh, 
if you can see my screen, just give me a thumb up in the group, in the chat uh, room. Just give a thumb up in the chat room. Uh, just give a thumb up. Like I just need like two to three. Uh, so that would that would add to add up that okay, uh, you, are, you guys are able to hear me, and of course, uh, like I'm 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 engaged with one or two people, even though I can only see Mr. Muiwa's face. So everyone is using audio camera. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. All right, I think I can see a few thumb ups. Okay, all right. So it's great to be here, right? So and uh, once again, <clears throat> good evening, everyone. So uh, I won't be bored. I'll, I definitely, uh, I won't say I've, I've, I won't say I've actually put a uh, lot of times together to you know actually visualize about what it entails to definitely have a, a bright future or to definitely have a, to definitely become the future we all endeavor to be right to definitely be in the future every one of us definitely and therefore to endeavor to be right i want to have, even though i've 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 been able to put a lot of stuff together right but definitely so in as much that's that has been said or that has been done i believe and i know definitely that you know uh, future is something that is it, it's abstract right in the in the real sense of it it's really abstract it's not something you can really lay hold on like it's not something you can really hold like you're holding a bread right so but definitely in as much you can in as much as the fact that you can't really do that or lay hold on it but definitely you can you your entity your person your person can be present in the future you definitely aims to be so and you know or or oh, yes, definitely. Uh, or let me say, uh, your your person, your your personality right now can definitely be, or can definitely become the kind of future you are open to uh, have for yourself, or let me say for your generation. So, and that, that that's uh, and that is what basically uh, what I would love to uh, lay emphasis on and uh, stretch through the pain and the fear of becoming your future which was the topic i was given as part as 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 living crisis is concerned right and uh i'm i'm actually sure that based on the uh, report that was given by the program coordinator right that was sent to my mail so and i i, I carefully went through it and I, I could see that everyone every one of us that are currently in this program that are currently part of this program uh, had the state of our becoming, like we are had the face of our becoming. So we we are just getting to the, uh, to the face of the becoming. And of course, uh, so I, I'm very sure that this topic is actually really a very great topic, right? That would actually really help us. And uh, uh, and it's something that would, you know, it will help us paddle our life as much as possible and bring our life to a state of equilibrium. Uh, as much as possible, and de therefore, uh, you know, we would get the desired results that we really, we really need to get in years to come. Because uh, years to come is the existence of the future that everyone is saying, right? So, <clears throat> okay. So the pain and fear of becoming your future, right? So uh, <laughs> this, uh, the the image you you could, definitely the image you are seeing around the topic, it's something. Uh, th these are let, let me these these guys you can see I'm not sure I'm not sure I, I don't I don't really want to assume because I think assumption is the lowest level of knowledge right so but let me say at least one or two people or peradventure you might have come across at least let me say one of the faces you are seeing around here definitely all of these guys now they are not based they are not bound by region they are not bound by anything all of these guys are some of the great guys we have in the in the uh 1000 to 1000 1000 to 1900 century these are the some of the uh, most famous guys in the 1000 1900 century if you are if you are a student of history you might you might know at least one or two but if you don't know don't worry it's not a problem right so uh, knowledge is being gained right so as since you now come here so you already know that at least most of the people in here are uh, great guys from the asian centuries right that uh, like four 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 fathers right and definitely most of them now you might be seeing them probably you might be thinking most of them are white guys fine it's that could be right but many of them as you can see them uh they 
the uh, what's it called now? The their greatness came in in the sense it came in the sense that uh, they were not it was not event actually the, their place of birth that the their greatness really came. Do you get that? So it's not like uh, this one of these guys we are seeing now is a national is a nationality of uh, uh, the United States, a citizen of the United States, and uh, he, he he brought out greatness from the United States. No, so many of them here are not. So some of them probably they were born in Africa and they went to the United States and they, they pioneered greatness. Some of them they were born in Kenya. Some of them were born in. Uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, some other African countries, some of them were born in some other Asia continent, right? So, and, you know, they went to another country and, you know, they, they, they brought out greatness, the greatness in them. So, <clears throat> the pain and the fear of becoming your future, right? And let me just move down to slide two. And before I move down to slide two, so we'll be having three breakout sections. So, I already told Mr. Moiwa about that. So, we'll be having three breakout sections. we uh, uh, and all of us, we're going to pick uh, ran, uh, numbers randomly, right? Uh, we're we're going to decide. So when we get to that session, so section, so I would tell us what to do. So and before we come back and you know we keep up with the class. So can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Let me be sure. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm only hearing Mr. Muiwa's voice. It seems I was I'm I'm talking with Mr. Muiwa only. I'm only seeing I'm only seeing his face. <laughs> yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay, thank you so much, man. Thank you. All right. So uh this guy now, so uh Randall Murrow, he said, uh, you don't become great by trying to be great. You become great by wanting to do something and uh, doing it so hard that you become great in the process. So that, that was what uh, Randall Moron say. Moron say. So is is what he's trying to say here is that, of course, greatness is uh, is constant. So greatness is constant. It doesn't vary from. It is the person that is wanting to become that greatness that varies from pole to pole. It's just different between. It's just like you are saying different between for for science students now. It's just like you are trying to differentiate between uh, mass and weight. You know now. So uh, it, what he's trying to say now is that uh, greatness is constant as much as it could be, right? But the process of becoming that greatness, which is the person, like the entity that wants to become that greatness is the, is the one that varies from pole to pole. Now, look at it. You don't become great by trying to be great. You become great by wanting to do something. That was the first thing. That was where the pain lies. And that was why, I, I, you know, I needed to make sure that it was in a red, it was in a red uh, uh, color, right? wanting to do something that that's where the danger lies and that is where you know you you start extracting the pain you know you are wanting to do something it is a wanting it is a want of your heart now it is the wanting of your heart that uh that it comes along the wanting of your heart with actions what well, is what produces pain and doing it so hard that is you, you understand now. now doing it so hard you continuously you know when you've started wanting now you are doing it so hard you've taken action right and you are hammering on that continual continuous uh, 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 uh wanting right by doing that thing so hard now in the process in that process of continue continuous doings that is what brings out greatness like unconsciously you break forth into greatness because you have been consistent with something hard as much as possible over the years right for instance now you're saying uh, probably uh, your own definition of what future holds for you is probably, let's say, uh, you you really want to you want to become an astronaut or something. Or okay, let me use something that we are more familiar with. You want to become the best uh, neurosurgeon in the world, right? Or let me say, okay, the, yes, let me say neuros, let me say the best uh, neurosurgeon in the world. I think Ben, ben Carson is a typical is, is, a, is a typical example, like uh, one of the uh, most successful. Uh, he, he has the record of uh, 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 the most successful uh, surgeon when it comes to brain surgery all over the world. Right, he was able to do as much as possible, separating two head of twins, uh, removing two more, like removing uh, removing biscuit from from nylon. You understand now is a, a black guy you can check him out if you don't know about it so now something like you want to become a you want to become the best neurosurgeon in the world you want to become that and now it's it's not about the one thing that's you want to now that's where the one thing come you are longing for to it okay what are the things 
that is needed to be done to ensure that you become this best neurosurgeon in the world, right? So I, I just want you to, I'm trying to make sure that we are practical enough so that it will not just be like uh, we are making life or we are making the future we are trying to create in our own imaginary perspective a something like a something like, like that is not really existing. Like you are trying to, it's just like you are trying to bring, uh, you are trying to bring your thought into the realm of, uh, or yeah, you are trying to bring your thought into the realm of something that is not real, right? So I want you to, I want us to as much as possible engage whatever I'm saying now. That's why I'm trying to cite more examples, right? Some examples. So you now relate it down to your life that or your own personal life right that that's what makes sense if you understand that that's what makes the application uh version of uh stuff like this and you know before i move forward so i, I remember something right that okay uh in as much as uh stuffs will be top around here and a uh, continuous uh, part of this uh, uh program right so uh, i really want you to take note of as, as much as like still the till the till till the uh smallest part of this program for each day. I really want to, because, you know, uh, where secrets are released, where, where Asian secrets, or let me say, where major information are released are where people are not much, where people are not really much, like gatherings like this. I can talk, I can talk everything, I can talk almost everything about me, I can talk almost everything of, that has been applicable to me and the result I've seen in gatherings like this, because we are not much. But when we start entering 30, 40, 50, that one is not, no, that, that's not so that's why you know so sorry to use this code that's why you know it could be easy for jesus to uh talk to his disciples and explain parables unto them but it cannot be easy for him to explain to five thousand people the only thing he does to five thousand people is to feed them but they don't know the secret behind the feeding you understand it's only the disciples because they were 12 it was easy to, for them now that's the same thing i wanted to look it that look at it that way too like it's easy for uh me to gain as much as possible things that would apply to my life to that would apply to my future here than now going to maybe a, a conference that is 1000 people that you are even struggling to find a seat you understand that kind of thing now so i really want you to pay rapt attention and do as much as possible jotting it if it's by watching again try to watch again now going back so sorry about that now i'm talking i was talking about my uh, uh, sorry i was talking about uh ben Carson. like now what were the things that he did to ensure that okay he, he, he brought the imagine now because you know the future we there's really no future that really exists in the real sense you know because i you know i said earlier that uh uh there is you cannot really hold a future right you can't hold it you you cannot lay hold of a future like physically now like for instance this is a phone look at this phone now now the way i'm holding this phone you cannot hold a future like this you understand but the only thing you can and do when it comes to future is that you bring yourself like your entity your 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 image into the reality of what you have been saying that is how future is formed do you understand now everything we, we get to a point at which i'll i'll, I'll tell you how future how where future actually really lies in you you get that now so so that you start taking proper steps right now so that is so that that is how it works now ben Carson now started was like we will not start be like it will not start doing that. like okay what are the things i really need to do to ensure that okay this future of being the best neurosurgeon is achieved so and it start it would start taking proper steps definitely okay let's just move forward so let's move forward we have very a very long way to go okay all right so uh let me see if i'm not mistaken okay so, all right. So, what is behind the doors of the other end? What, what okay? What lies behind the door at the other end of the room? So, definitely, that is what uh, <clears throat> the future. Definitely, we are the future. You know that we are open to become, or to have, the future we are open to become is all about. Of course, there is this uncertainty that comes when it comes to future. Like, there's what lies at the end. What lies behind the door at the other end of the room? Look at look at these images. Look at the first big image, and look at the second uh, the second small image. Now, if if you are only seeing the first image, you would you would agree with me that you would agree with me that. Uh, so sorry about that. Someone said his battery is low. So sorry about that. So you would agree with me that uh, you would never believe that there was a, a there was like a sun from afar 
uh, at the back of this door. You will definitely agree with me. Look at just look at the image images carefully. Look at the two images carefully. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Can someone say yes? Do you yes. Agree with me? yes. All, right. All right. Thank you. Now, look at coming down to the second image. You will definitely see that. Oh, so at the back of the, this actual door, there's something brighter that could actually really even be beautiful than the door itself. That is how uh, future is. So what lies behind the door at the, at the other end of the room? Really, of course, with the uncertainty of life, really no one actually really knows. You understand that. But uh, when you eventually, when you, when you are able to eventually get to the back of the door, that is when you know that, oh my, there's something, there's something really closer to me that is even much more beautiful. Right? Like look at the, look look at the stuff now. So it's extremely beautiful, and you know it's lying at the, uh, behind the door, right? So uh, going forward, what really matters <clears throat> is how much we worry about our future and how seriously it affects our lives. So uh, you know I would really want to dwell about the fear of becoming our future because I, I believe strongly and I know that uh, most of uh, gathering, uh, bringing this, the efforts to bring this, uh, our, our stuff together, to bring in this uh, kind of program together would most likely dwell, uh, would definitely dwell on the pain, would dwell, definitely, because you no, know, you know, it's when, what dwells on the pain is what leverages on the, on the, on, 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 on the process. You get that now. So what dwells on the pain? It's definitely what leverages on the process because for every processes, there's always a pain. Do you, do you get that now? Everyone is going to really talk to you about process. I, I, I think I, I, I took some excerpts on YouTube based on the first uh, program, based on the first day uh, uh, event uh, program and uh, the second day program. So uh, I could realize that what's, what's the, the major core uh, talk about is still definitely processes, right? But now uh, I'm just trying to, uh, I would talk about the pain of, as well, but I would really hammer more about the fear so that you would know definitely that uh, even in as much fear is something that could conquer your future, that could, uh, that could seemingly make your future not to come, but, uh, uh, to come to reality. Also fear as well plays a long, uh, it plays a good role, it, it plays a vital role to ensure that you actually actualize your dream, you actually actualize what you have been imagining in your future. So what really matters is how much we worry about our future and how seriously this affects our daily lives. So worrying about what tomorrow will bring is a perfect, it's perfectly, is a perfectly normal feeling, right? You know, <clears throat> there are times at which, you know, uh, there are times at which, you know, you start worrying. Uh, one, of, one, one of the ways people worry, people start to worry. Let, 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 me, let me bring it from a point, from, from the lowest point of our growth, right? When you finish secondary school, for, for, for some of, uh, for some of you guys, or for, for some of us, right, that could not gain admission early enough. Now, probably you had to write jam two times, you had to write uh, YA two times. Some some even did more than you, you understand now. So the the worry was okay. The worry was that okay, uh, my my mates already in part three. Uh, I have my friends now. We've been reading together since primary school. We went to the same secondary school. We are very good, at, but I, didn't, I never knew what happened. Uh, I'm, I'm still looking for English, right? And, uh, you know, uh, he's already in part three. I've been writing why I've not been making it for my uh, my English exams, right? So, and, you know, you start you start to worry because uh, you'll be like, by the time I would be in Andre level or part, part one, uh, my friend probably would be in, uh, would be in NYC. That shows there would be a distance. There would really be a wide distance apart from both, both of us, right? So you start to worry. You start to look for okay, what could I do to make this up? What what can I do? Some of some of you guys would write uh, probably IGMB. Some of you guys would write all these uh, exams that push you into part two immediately. Uh, I can't really remember the name now. So and you know you start doing as much as possible. Probably some of you guys will go to private university so that you can catch up. You'll be like, okay, I think strike would straight this probability or there's 50 percent chances that strike is going to hold my friend so i can be i can be it can be instead of me lagging behind within three for three years let me go to a private university so that i can lag behind for probably two years or one year so there won't really be so much distance between both of us you get that now so those are the stuffs that makes people worry like 
I'm just bringing it from, I'm bringing it up from the elementary part of our lives. Now, going to the university, you start worrying. Uh, after you study the university, you are done studying in the university, you start thinking about, okay, uh, probably some, some, of course, uh, I should be sure that some, some, some of you guys just lived, some of you guys just finished the university, right? So maybe some of you are serving or some of you are done serving and probably you're still looking for a job. You start to worry about the future. Oh, I'm 27 now, I'm 26 now, I'm 25 now, I'm 24 now. So I think I need to get a good job. Once I get a good job so that I can say to Haley, I get married, I have my kids, I have my house, I'm comfortable, I have my car, I have my, those are this, those are, and believe me, those are the basic things we definitely worry about when it comes to life. I, I have money, probably I have basic money to, to take care of my, my, my parents. I place my parents on salary. I, I start paying my mom. I, I tell my mom to, to, you know, to resign or to quit a trading job. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been hectic for her. She's growing old already. So I place her on salary. I get a driver for her. Those are the basic things. Definitely that an average person. You see, when we, when we get to the breakout session, you, you, you will hear people uh, uh, talk about their future, right? But definitely all of these things. So by the way, they are still, so, uh, uh, they, they are still definitely uh, what, we, what, what, we, what we wrap around our future, definitely. And, you know, it's not really what matters. And what really matters is how much we worry about our future and how seriously this affects. And definitely at the long run, you know, you start experiencing stuff that affect because you are trying to meet up with demand. You are trying to meet up with, uh, okay, uh, uh, you are trying to meet up with the fact that, oh, my friend just traveled out to the United States. I'm still in Nigeria. I'm still looking for a job. And, you know, of course, you start worrying about, okay, let me just look for a job and let me make money as much as possible. My friend will be in the U.S. Even though if he's not working, he will still make money, definitely. And at the long run, you start chasing shadow. You start chasing what could not really add up to your, you know, to your, uh, to the becoming of that future that you have actually really imagined about, or you have really imagined. Probably you've imagined that okay, probably I will be the youngest, you know, developer in the world in five to ten years. And of course, job is not forthcoming. Even laptop to write code is not really forthcoming. You get that now. Even when lap there's available laptop, there's no bad, there's no money to buy battery inside the laptop because Nigerian light is not good stuff like that and you know you'll be like okay let me just start working stuff like that and you know and at the long run you start chasing shadow you see that age is catching up with you uh you are you are getting old they are disturbing you already to get married to get settled down now when they are disturbing you already to get settled down you're also considering settling down which is not bad i'm not saying you should not settle down but in the expense of at the long run you are trying to become so so at the long run so you will realize that uh it has really affected your daily lives. And uh, all of these things has actually really catched up with you. And what you can only live for is to live to survive, not to live to become the future. Do you understand what I'm trying to say now? So uh, uh, I think we are how many minutes away? Mr. Mui, we are how many minutes away? 29, I guess. OK, all right. So uh, we'll be getting down into the. Uh, breakout section now. So, and this is the break, the first breakout section. So, uh, we'll be doing five minutes, exactly five minutes. So, we'll really be time conscious and we'll really be strict with time, right? So, and uh, definitely what I really want us to discuss in the, whatever the group you find yourself, it's, you know, uh, there's something that comes when uh, the sincerity of to oneself, when you're sincere to yourself and when you're sincere with at least a, 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 a small group of people, right? So it's, it makes you see life, it makes you see life, it makes you see things in a more, a better perspective. And it makes you, you know, who knows, apply, it's, uh, uh, it makes you, it makes you uh, find a, a more application, a, a more applicative uh, version of what you're trying to build or what you're trying to become. So I really want to, uh, for this first breakout session, right? So we'll be discussing about just uh, how many groups do we, how many uh, breakout sessions do we have, Mr. Mokula? Like how many breakout sessions do we have, Mr. Mokula? You're on mood, you're on mood, you're on mood. You're on mood, you're on mood. On mood yourself. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it depends on okay. how many, I think we have like, um, 11 okay. how, how, so, how many people how many how many people are in the group 
Okay, we have about, um, let's say nine, plus myself and yourself making 11. Um, so we can do maybe three groups, then three, three, three persons in a group or two, depending on how you want it, son. Okay, all right. So, uh, okay, uh, let's just, let's make it, let's make it uh, two, two, so that we can have more time to talk. That's each person would definitely have 2.5 minutes each to talk to oneself, you know, you talk about your pain and the pain about what I called, you call, you personally called the future, right? You talk it to the patient, like what you, and the other person talks to you about, you know, we now come back. Do you get that now? So when, when we come back, so uh, that is uh, when we're going to really, I'm going to really lay emphasis on that exact, what is called uh, the pain about what I call the future and some other stuff. So, okay. So we can we can have the breakout section now. So Mr. Mwewa, how do you help us and do that? So okay, uh, I will do that right away. All right, thank you. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, so I just want people to confirm if they can see their own breakout session. Yeah, cool. All right, great. Um, so some persons are yet to join their breakout session. Awesome. Please join us. Uh, please join your session and not here. Assign this little file.
Ya. Okay, I'm really sorry, sir. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. What I'm supposed to do here, really. Okay. Um. So um. Give me a minute. Let me check back. Uh. So what he said is just to share with one another. Uh. More like understand each other. Go understand what each other is looking forward to in the next future. Right. For example, let's say Mr. Damilaye now. Is uh, I know it's more like going into music if I'm not wrong, and maybe basically now you are starting it. So understand what each other is doing, what um each other is looking forward to in the future, and if there is anything at the moment that each person can contribute to another person, it's just basically to talk with one another, understand what the person is going doing at the moment and where the person is going in the nearest future. I don't know if you get that. Or should I come again? Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. I understand that now. Uh, Mr. Basi. Are you? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Awesome. I can I can leave, right? Yes, yeah, so are you know I'm okay. I'm still in the group. Yeah, I'll be Uh let me um, go. Yeah, um, Adeleke Messi, I'm here. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, I guess I didn't get the what we have to do exactly, sir. All right, so um, the task is for each person to be able to uh, communicate with one another. Um, tell the person where you are at the moment, where you are looking forward to in the future. Let's say in the next whatsoever year, what you are looking forward to do in the future. Then chat together. Um, tell her what you are doing. Let her tell you what she is doing and any other thing that you can more like chip into her or she can chip into you. I don't know if you get that. All right, I think I get it. Uh, what about others? Ola Lele, Joy, Christiana, and Ola Did you guys get that? Hello? No, sir, I didn't get it. I'm, I'm just uh, joining the meeting, sir. All right. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, but can you hear me? I'm just joining the meeting. Yes, I can hear you, sir. All right, so what I'm saying is that what the facilitator asks each group to do is come to the group, um, more like share where you are at the moment in what you are doing and what you look forward to do in the next future and let the, the next person contribute to more like give an input or idea about, okay, let's say for example, I am into baking and catering or sort. Let's say I've started, at this point, I've, I, I opened a office space or shop or whatever you guys call it. And then the next feature you look to expand to maybe Abuja and different places, right? So the other person could have an insight, be like, oh, really? Wow, nice. So um, how do you want to expand to those various places when you don't have anybody there? So it's just more like ch chat between one another to understand what the person is doing and where the person is going to in the next future. I don't know if you get that. And I don't know if it makes sense. Okay, sir. I'm beginning to understand, sir. But I want to ask that, are we going to do that on the group, WhatsApp group, or this Zoom meeting? Yeah, this is a breakout session. This is not everybody. This is just your own group. So in this whole meeting that we are at the moment, you are four here, but in the main group, we are all, we are more than this. So we are split it to different, we have four rooms. So this is room one, room one or room two, I've forgotten, or room five. Um, so there are other rooms too, you get. Okay, sir, I understand, sir. So when are we to do that, sir? Now. Wonderful. Thank you. Let me go back to, they are calling me in another room. Bye, guys.
Awesome. I I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? How is everything going? Fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Um <clears throat> Oh, we are close. They left the entire meeting. So, Mr. Muiwa, okay. Ah, Mr. Muiwa, you took yes. you took you took about ten minutes. Ah, I said five minutes. Um, sir, I had to go to various um breakout rooms to be able ah. to. Be okay. sure. Um, I mean, there are some people that ask me to come over to explain more like what they are doing or what they are to do and the like. So um oh, that's okay. what I so I have to go to the soon. So uh yeah, everybody should join us in the next few seconds. Okay, we're waiting for them. We're waiting for them. Yeah, in the next, in the next ten seconds. For them. For so, uh, all right. Thank you. Okay. okay. Oh, voila. We are waiting for them. Oh, let them come and join us. Oh. Me, I'm you. Break out scissors section. I thought I saw as much. Someone said that I mistakenly. Hi. So. Yeah, I mean, everybody is back now. I think currently out of my room is. Yes. No, you are not. Out of the room, the breakout room is over for now. You get that? So, uh, for um, I, I can see messy type. Ah, are we good to go? Okay, all right, thank you. So, <clears> how <throat> was the breakout session? Uh, I'm not sure a couple of these this physical uh grouping we do when we have a meeting now. So, how was the breakout session? So, how was it? So, let me just hear your view from the group chat from the chat room. How was the breakout session? Nobody, can we move on then? Time is going, time is going. Three, two, so can we move on then? I guess some person did not understand what they had to do in the data session. Um, so, ah. when the, so uh, it was more like, what are we to do here? Um, kind of thing. Okay, oh, okay, all right. So, okay, no problem. There is no problem about that. Okay, so by the second breakout session, so I would explain more. I will lay emphasis on uh, uh, what we need to do, so so that you won't just go to different breakout sessions that you know uh, you just fall, right? So and uh, for the previous breakout session, right? So uh, what I I I intended that we definitely do was to talk about our pain. You know, uh, Abilahi was telling me about how his, his aspiration, what he hopes to become in the in future, right? So, and, you know, he was talking to me about uh, the, in, uh, the inadequacies he has been facing, right? So, uh, like kind of, uh, he, 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 has, he currently has a laptop down, his laptop is currently down, so he, he's, an, he's a tech enthusiast and, you know, stuff like that. So, but, you know, those are the pain. So I, need, I intended that we talk about the pain. So moving forward very fast. So, <clears throat> The future is in everyone's head. Now, of course, going forward, everyone's, uh, I've talked about the fact that uh, there is no 
there is no there is no there is no physical future like probably you will just be like okay one day when i'm able to save like twenty thousand dollars so uh i would probably take like five thousand five thousand uh i would take like uh five five or fifty one hundred dollars and you know <clears throat> i would i would be boarding uh an aircraft that would take me to the future so, no there's nothing like that you get that so uh, if, even if by today you move off you know if by today you move out of this uh, african continent and you know probably move to, down to an asia continent it's still not the future right you get that now so your 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 to the to the aspiration to the uh imagine imagination yourself to the reality it's what's it's it, it is what makes the future right do you get that now because you know at some point of everyone's life so you tend to make decisions that would definitely either uh accelerate your life or decelerate your life so now yeah i said the future is in everyone's age like in your head <laughs> so H -H -H, right so let me and i stated the reason of course i said simply simple reason uh genuinely it is out of reach because you know i i said that earlier now i said genuinely that's this future of it in it's out it's out it's out of reach because the only place it can be found is in our heads like the only place the future can be found is in our head look at look at the picture i i, I cited now now if you are wanting to you know make for instance now, you want to if, 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 if you are probably let's say you want to you want to, you are done with your university you, you are done with your university now and uh or you're almost done with your university the next probably you're someone you're you an academic uh after my uh, university my bsc or B, B Tech, right so i may see i'll push for my phd they're trying to calculate master's cost cost uh two years phd cost cost uh, one year you are, you are trying to calculate with, like, like the future is just you're just trying to bring the reality of all of those things into your memory like into your into into your into your memory so uh, that's what i'm trying to say that okay generally it's, it's out of reach because the only place it can be found is in our heads consequently each of us imagine it differently right so and you know this imagination comes in a different way you get that now so some people what they what they tend to define as their own kind of future is the fact that uh probably after their school they are trying to set set up a shop so can, can you hear me can you hear me as in, as much as possible please i want to be sure yes can you hear me yes, very well like i'm not yes, sir. Okay, right, thank, yes, you sir. Right, thank you so much so some people will be like okay my my future is that okay what i really want to settle down for for the next uh you know couple of years that makes up my kind of personality is that it is the fact that okay i want to have a shop and you know i want to make sure you know i would have a shop full of uh, uh apparels full of uh, many things and you know I would, and, you know start selling to people collect to people that could be it's always a feeling where it says okay and we imagine it differently right definitely some people would be like something like that i want to start competing uh, with great visual visual artists that could be something like that but definitely let me just put this into your memory and uh uh uh, uh i want to i want you to put it into your memory forever like once anything anything you are trying to bring into in any any time you are trying to bring yourself into into the future thank you so much uh infinix smart you said you can hear me too. the reality of the future you are trying to ex ex like you are trying to exist in do you get that now so anytime you're trying to bring yourself into the reality of the future that you really want to live in right so ensure that uh as much as you can the reality of that you become the reality of that future that you've imagined uh, is able to put a ding in the universe. You get that. I'm not saying at the long run, uh, everybody should know you like the way they know uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Of course, they can definitely too. Oh, 
Wow, that's great. So any feature you're trying to bring yourself into, ensure that uh, it's something that eventually puts a ding in the universe. Let me just rush up. So I think we have about 15 minutes with question and answer. Jeez, oh my. All right. So now going forward, I said here that the fear of the future, as the term suggests, is an anxiety about what is to come. Definitely, that's what everybody tends to think about when it comes to future 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 was the future was the future was the future everybody will be like oh my i want to become the best the best business mogul in the world i want to become like i want to be solving as much as possible uh and you know but eventually that person like that now so the fear of the future is just like as it, as it stems suggests that is an anxiety about what is to come definitely then this word stems from and it stems from our thoughts you know you start uh, uh 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 you start thinking about how can these things really be how can these things really be those are those are the ways the fear comes how can these things really be so and you know i said fear of the future does not always have a specific cause Definitely, it doesn't really have a specific cause. It's just like anticipating anxiety can accompany us throughout our lives. So it's just like you're anticipating something that has not really come. You're anticipating of, you're anticipating it about its, 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 its befalling upon you. Like you've not gotten married. You are, you are thinking already that hey, hey, if I get married now, she, my, my, my children will not suffer like this because I did not have money now. And even the marriage that you, you are thinking of, you cannot use yourself, no, use yourself, know that you cannot even marry in the next seven years. You get what I'm trying to say now. So it keeps bringing in fear that ensures that we don't eventually have to, you know, we don't eventually have to uh, become the becoming eventually that we intended to be in, our, in, in, in the future. So definitely we need, we, we need to go to uh, a, another breakout session. Probably I'll, I'll be canceling the third breakout session. So, but now I, uh, uh, for this second breakout session, uh, okay. So I would want us so to again. So uh, the first breakout session, what did we talk about, Mr. Mwewa? We talked about uh, pain about what I call the future, right? Yes, sir. I am. Okay. So now for this session now. So no my yes, yes, I can't, I can't. Can you hear me? <clears throat> yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. All right. So for this session now, I would want us to, I would want us to, I'm coming. Okay, sorry. So for this session now, let's let's just talk about in five minutes. Please make it five minutes, nothing less than five minutes, so that I can rush up with the rest of the uh point, right? So uh with this. Uh, session now. I want us to talk about the gain about don't mind the pain you, you can see here. Don't mind that pain. Don't mind the word pain here. So I want us to talk about the gain about what I call the future. Like what is your own, what is your what is the definition of the gain you are expecting from what you actually call the future? So let me just type that. So that is what you're going to talk about. So at least now uh we are so definitely we'll, we'll get into different room, there will be a room pop up in on, on all of our screens. So just click on that room. So talk to your friend, the person in the room, if you are three, divide it minutes into five. If you are two, divide it into, uh, into five, that's 2.5, 2.5. So you talk about the gain, sorry, the pain. Sorry, no, not pain now. The gain about what you call the future. So when you now talk about that, so you would definitely tend to understand uh, someone's else gain, you will understand, the person also will understand your own kind of gain, the definition of gain. Then I'm going to talk about the actual gain we should definitely expect when it comes to uh, uh, the future. Did you get that now? Some, some other people's gain can be, I want to have a sewing machine in the future and have a, probably a, a warehouse, a, 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 a sewing company, something like that. So just I'm just using that as an example so that you guys will get me very well. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, can you hear me now? Yes. I'm present. Okay. All right. So, so uh, that is what we'll be talking about now. The gain about what I call the future. So you talk it. You you do that with each other. So, uh, Mr. Moiwa, immediately let's just share us into the breakout room now. All right. Um, yes, done that. So everyone should join. Yes. 
own session. Please let's try to join the group. We are invited to Adamla. Yes. Once you get to the group, you see the person, then you just continue with the person. Um, so let's try to join the group that um, pops up on our screen. Yeah, Mr. Adam Larry, you call for me. I was leaving school or losing a job, you know. I said that earlier, right? So that, you know, you start fearing the future when you leave school or probably you lost a job and something like that. And also fear of the future can haunt our minds without a specific reason. When feeling of uncertainty begins to weigh heavily every on us, right? Like you don't really know exactly what to do. You, you have to get to that point, right? I believe that at least every, almost everyone here has gotten to that point that, well, you really don't know what to do at some point of your life, right? So, and also in this moment, the days ahead can appear entirely unpredictable and uncontrollable. Like you, you only, you, you'll be thinking even if definitely you have a future or something, right? So now the baby, now here lies the big questions, right? What causes fear of the future? And why do we approach the unknown with such apprehension, right? So what's really cost this? No, I think things? you are not sharing the screen at the moment. Oh, really? I want to check, yeah. Oh, so sorry about that. No All right, can you see that now? Yes, it's, it's up now. Okay, so I, bet you, I talked about this previously, right? I think I've talked about that. So let's just move down here. So I said, what's actually causes fear of the future and why do we approach the unknown with such apprehension? Now, fear has to, and these are the things that causes it, right? So I said uh, yeah, that, that fear has two functions. The first function is that it's it wants us of danger, right? You know, you start thinking about danger, that, oh, <laughs> my, 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 my parents, you know, they, they, fall, they fell victim of probably, uh, 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 let me say uh, poverty, right? So, or my parents fell victim of not really bringing us up well, something like that. Or that's, I'm just saying, I'm just using that as an example so that you guys can get me right. So, and the second thing, fear, uh, the function, the second function of fear is that it activates us to, so that we are best equipped to protect ourselves from that danger. So that was what I said, you know, I said, in as much as fear is very bad and it makes us not become our future. Also, there are, there are things that makes, there are things that are inherent in fear that makes us actually actualize our dreams, that makes us actually become that future we have actually imagined to be, irrespective of, irrespective of uh, the constraint, external constraint, such as, you don't have money, you don't have a uh, helper, you don't have this, you don't have that, you get that now. So it activates us so that we are best equipped to protect ourselves from that same danger that we've actually wrote, we've actually seen before us. And I said that the fear of the future can also go beyond any helpful level and leave us in a sense where our daily life is completely paralyzed, definitely. So uh, we were supposed to, we were supposed to take the third breakout session, but we won't be taking that just because of our time and we'll be moving down into three steps 
to deal with fears about our future, hopefully, hopefully, right? So, and the first one I said here was that you have to bring clarity eventually. That's the first thing, that's the first thing you need to do. You have to be very sure because until until your your the essence of your life is simplified, until it is simplified, you might always still get confused of your life. Definitely. Do you get what I'm trying to say now? Now, Facebook will be doing so many things, but the essence of Facebook is still connecting the world together, connecting people together. That's the essence of what why Facebook was. That, that, that's the essence of why Facebook was created. Do you get that now? So I'm just using that as an example, right? So it is until there is clarity in your, in the, like there's clarity to deal with the kind of fear or the, uh, the, the, the fear of becoming that. The road is rough already. Now, now imagine you are not putting, you are not, you are not putting more roughness by not defining the clarity, and you know definitely you are, there's no there is nowhere to go because everywhere will become a way. You get that now. Everywhere will definitely become a way. If someone is saying he's a digital marketer now, you have to you will definitely move towards that person. So let me let digital marketing know. Uh, uh, if someone is saying uh, he's a content writer, now, uh, let me do content writing. If someone is saying he's a developer now, let me move. So it's it becomes rough, and eventually, you you if care is not taken, if you are not able to catch up with time and demands, you eventually try to set to uh, uh, you know just to exist, right? So and not actualizing your dream. And the second thing, after you bring you brought in clarity as much as possible, is to move to actions. You have to start moving into actions. You know when you start moving into actions, you know what to focus on. You know what to you know level down when it comes to focus right so and the third thing is that you have to boost your self-confidence so there are times at which you know you even you even have the you have you have the full chest to say oh i can do this i can become this i'm i'm someone that can do this i've done this before i can do more of this if i've done this i can do this i can do more of this so but you know when 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 fear start when when fear starts coming and be like okay I, I, of course i've been able to i was on the right I, I wrote this i did this i developed this and of course if there is no self confidence even when they give you what you have done when, what you have done consistently you, you understand that you might not eventually really want to you might not be able, be able to do that because there is no self confidence you have to say to yourself look into your mirror day by day look into your checklist write your uh, write your write your uh, uh, goals and aspirations down and you know you focus on it be like you can do it you know you 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 believe in yourself you expand your mind you expand your 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 your, your mind now so and of course so I, i'm wrapping up already and after you've been able to just take notes of all of those three points, they are just vital points you have to really ruminate about. So it's something, even if you just sit down with those three points and you keep looking them, eyes, you write them down and you keep looking them into them, definitely you are going to get into the ease of the future because the essence of the works that you have actually started, that you actually started in becoming, because the becoming is where the work lies, where, where uh, and the future is where the ease lies. Do you get now? The becoming is where the work lies. Why the the future, which is the essence, is where the is lies. Now the future still lies ahead of us. Then realizing that we will always have a future to look forward to, then we can be determined. You know, you can be determined. You already know that. Okay, this you have realized that this thing is what you want to become, right? This is the future you are wanting for yourself. Then we can now be determined to play a big role in how it turns out. Definitely, and uh, of course is still continue in the his into the future try to accept the future with serenity right uh having confidence in ourselves which i said earlier the world and the world around us we can make the best of our future definitely we can really make the best of our future by and you know having confidence in ourselves and you know uh believing in ourselves in ourselves having self-confidence setting that clarity as much as possible right and of course the future is there Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you so, so much, sir. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate this, right? Um, those, those three words were really, really helpful. To me, uh, the part where you talk about simplify your life to bring clarity, 
I, I think it's something that is really a key point for everyone, even for myself, especially. Um, ability to streamline your life, to be clear enough, even to yourself, so that at any point anybody asks you, you could say that this is this is the simple statement of your life, not so complicated that um, it takes you about three or four hours for you to be able to find what exactly you want to do. So for that, I think I, I it's it's really it's something that bounds to me like, hey guy, this thing you must take note of this. Yeah, so thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it from my side and from everybody here, of course. Um, so if there's anybody that have a question or two that you want to ask, um, we appreciate that. Um, um, if you want to say it's good, if you want to type it, um, I mean, that's fine too. Um, anybody that want to ask a question, maybe along the way, you, you there's something that you need clarity on. Um, there's, Thank God. You need clarity on something to simplify your life, right? Um, we want to take the first point to <laughs> we need clarity to simplify our life. So uh maybe you want to ask anything, there's something that um, has a body in your mind for a while, or what you're about. All right, so before anybody asks, um, before we receive any question, so I want to ask, like um, you are talking about a point that um uh, the future is more like abstract. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, awesome. Um, so you're talking about the future is more like abstract. Um, and then, um, so how do we simplify something that is abstract? Um, being the fact that, Okay, I thought it's sorry, I thought it's a question in the chat. Um, so I, I just want to ask that for as many people here that are looking at it in the fact that um the future, their vision or the future they are looking forward to is something that um in the first first chart or in the first slide, we are talking about something that it is abstract, it is not something that we can hold on to, it's not something like uh, you make an example of your phone. So I want to ask for as many persons that are looking out to bridge the aspect of simplifying their future and also be able to capture their future into terms, into statements, into something that they can hold rather than be abstract. So how does that connect? How, how will people be able to connect that dot between those two poles like you made mention? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Muyo. Yes. So, okay, it's very simple, right? So, and uh, let me let me let me just do let me just do it this way. Now, so when it comes to simplifying uh, oneself, uh, and the, uh, definitely that's it's really that that the question really rests on the three key points that could actually really help you to become in your future, right? So that I, I talked about earlier. So. Uh, when it comes to becoming oneself or becoming the future you aspired to become, right? Like, like you imagine now for everyone now. Now, the first thing about uh, the future is this: every one of us now, every one of us here, we have an elastic mind. Like your mind, <laughs> your, I'm not talking of your heart now. Your mind, your mind, how you think, the, the place you think, it's elastic as much as possible. Now the the there's something in i'm sorry for using i mean i'm a science student so i'm trying to relate it with what we taught then so uh there's something called elastic limit and there's something called yield point now the point irrespective of how uh you or oh, oh, what's it called now it is only the point you expand your mind to become right probably you for instance now i can say i, I i'm going to into the fashion uh, and Mr. Mui also is also going into the fashion. Let me use that as an example. So let me use a practical example so that you guys can get me better and understand what Mr. Mui is trying to ask. Now, he's going into fashion. I'm going to, into, into the fashion. Now, I've expanded my mind and I've seen myself become uh, someone competing with uh, the likes of Nike. Nike is into fashion. Uh, most of us call it Nike, right? Nike is into fashion, right? And uh, let me say, okay, if you don't know Nike, you, you, I, I would mention different type of... Uh, uh, fashion in companies so 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 you would definitely know one from each other nike bugatti uh let, let me say what again 
I'm not really into fashion, probably, I don't know. So let, let me just mention those two. Now, you are going into the fa into fashion and uh, Mr. Muratu is also going into, the fashion, into fashion. Okay, now, and my own goal of becoming into the, of going into the fashion is that once I get into the fashion, I will disrupt, I will be the monopoly man in terms of supply. I will be the only one, for instance, now, in, in Nigeria now, uh, uh, Mercedes-Benz, anything Mercedes-Benz, BMW is manufactured by German, by German company, uh, uh, German company, by German. right? So, but, uh, my, I'm echoing, I think someone is on, I'm echoing back. Yeah, it's fine now, sir. You can go on. All right. All right. Thank you. So, uh, let me see. Okay. Now, uh, Mercedes, the likes of Mercedes, you know, is manufactured by uh, Germany, right? And they are manufacturing it. They are into it. It was, I believe it was one. It's not even, I believe. I know that it's, it's one man's business, right? It was an idea of one person that started it. Now, but currently in Nigeria today, it is only Cosmas, Cosmas, Unduka that can supply anything called Mercedes-Benz, like anything related to Mercedes-Benz. Currently, we have about 240 million people in Nigeria. That shows it is only a man's company, Cosmas Charis Motors, that can supply BMW, that can supply Mercedes-Benz. Now, that was, it, it, it went into automobile, but his mind can only expand to a point at which he can, his, the, his own goal was to supply. Fine, he was, he's making his money. But there were people that, of course, there were people that were manufacturing it. People that were manufacturing it, they, that was their goal. You get that now. So it's it, it, it is based on an expansion of mind. You get that now. There was a time, this guy that, that started uh, this Nigerian uh, automobile now, I've forgotten his name, he's in Lagos. Uh, what was his name? Uh, I've forgotten his name, I've forgotten his name. So uh, now he started with supplying vehicles, right? So at a point, he started with uh, uh, coupling vehicles. Now they, are, they currently manufacture, uh, I think that the first manufacturing, Nigerian manufacturing vehicle, uh, uh, they are the first Nigerian manufacturing vehicle. I've forgotten the name now. Uh, it's something I relate with very well all of the time. I've forgotten the name. It's in Lagos. I've forgotten, you know, I can't remember. Maybe one, once I remember, I'll tell you guys. So that is IT. So definitely uh, relating it back to Mr. Murua's question. Now, once there is clarity of what you want to do, like in as much, what brings clarity is revisitation. Now, I don't want to use the word consistency because, you know, we've, there's a way we've bastardized consistency to a point at which uh, even people knows how to people knows how to coin the word consistency into songs, but of course they don't still be, uh, uh, maintain that consistent effort, consistent effort. Now let me say revisit. You, you are revisiting it. Now once you keep revisiting, uh, what you are, what you aim to become, what you have imagined in your in your heart, what you have seen yourself become. For instance, you can see yourself. There's a way you can see yourself become. The president of Nigeria. So, what is the process of becoming? The, you cannot just become the president of Nigeria. That's just before you become the president of Nigeria, you have to first become the president, governor of a state. Before you become the governor of a state, you have to become. No, it's not not. It's not not. It's not not. Thank you. It's not not. So, you have to become the the probably local government chairman of a place. That is how. So, you have to narrow it down. So, once you keep revisiting what it's you you have intended you intended to do, right? So at the long run, so you, 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 yes, thank you so much. It's innocent models. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's innocent models, right? Once you keep revisiting it, so uh, you keep, it keeps narrowing down into simple understanding, right? So it keeps narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down. So I, I can very, I can really remember when I was, while I was trying to give a coinage to, the, to my company, right? I, I was trying to give a name and a slogan to my company. Of course, I it's it's not a matter of exaggeration. I changed the slogan, like I changed the slogan for more than 50 times. Like, like my pitch deck, I changed it for more than 50 times. I'm always correcting, I'm always correcting because once I keep revisiting it, I keep meeting people that have been into this system for many years, keep meeting both with white, both with black, both with yellow, both with red, both with green, everybody, like seriously. Every night, every now and then, I keep meeting with them. And, you know, I kept until, kept narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down, narrowing down, until it became something as simple enough that anybody can relate to it. That is how it becomes. So that is how you bring yourself into the reality of that kind of abstract. You understand? Abstract can be 
it's definitely mere word. It's not just definitely a place, but it's a becoming in your spirit. It's a becoming in your heart. But until there's nothing, that abstract cannot become your entity or cannot become my identity until you keep revisiting it. So when you keep revisiting it, the shell keep pulling off. The shell of the bluntness keep pulling off until you see what is inside eventually. That what is inside eventually is your identity, is your person. So by the time you get to that what is inside eventually, you've gotten to the future, definitely. So the only thing you now start doing at that future is start exploring that future. When you start exploring, one of the ways you start exploring that future is that you start bringing people up because you are, it's something you have done over the years. You've pulled up the shell over the years. So you start bringing people up. That's part of exploring. You start, you start, uh, you know, pioneering different things. You start, you know, uh, 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 you start diving into as much as possible. Now, Elon Musk can dive into as much as possible thing today because there's something about his identity of person that he has created over the years, right? Yeah. The becoming was, part of the becoming was creating paper. He had to create paper. Now he sold out paper. Part of the becoming was that he had to start Tesla. He had to start SpaceX. Many things. But the eventual goal of Elon Musk is that he wants to move people into mass. That is it. And every rocket being launched today. Now, Elon Musk loses over $10 million for every rocket being launched. But he has done something that bring, brought him to the person of that entity. That even if he's losing $10 million every, every now and then, every second, it doesn't affect him. Do you get that point now? So he has brought himself to that identity, to that person, until that becomes now. He's not exploring, exploring. So he can now say he wants to buy Twitter. He can do this, he can do that. I hope that answers the question, sir. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, we have like two questions here more. Uh, okay. We'll be able to answer it in the next few minutes that we have. Um, okay. Can we relate the future with time? If yes, how? Uh, okay. If we take it one after the other, we should just go to, okay, no problem. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that was the question, sir. All right. So can we uh, can... okay. Of course. Yeah. What the definition of the future is time. Because there's no sense of a a a a old woman that has in is is wanting to you know uh start probably start a something like shop right and she's wanting to manage all the stuffs there's no sense she cannot do it you understand because time is gone but there's money money is available but time is gone do you understand that now now the future is relatable with time because the future is the time the time is the future and that is why you know every haze needed to be made when the sun is shining you understand that now uh uh it could it could really be far from it time can really be far from it quite far from our future when it comes to this part of africa because you know uh uh we we tend to there are a lot of uh uh, uh let me say uh there are a lot of uh, uh, uh constraint you understand now there are a lot of things that intrude into our future that makes us tends not to you know uh, 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 be or tends not to be at the at the face of the becoming of our future because there are a lot of uh, constraint that comes around this part of our con uh, part of the world right so but uh what can really help you uh just let me just say what can really help you so that you you won't be you won't be boxed up with time and and and, and at the long run uh both time and the future you are not catching up with any of them so is that you have to, uh, the first thing is that you have to uh, put in an extra focus and uh, tailor your extra focus with the, with your daily uh, re-examination of your clarity, like of your, of your, of your future. Now you have to keep consistently uh, re-evaluating uh, the, the, your, your person, like your person in terms of bringing yourself into the limelight of more clarity about what you are wanting attending to become so that at the long run time will not be against you and of course the future you are wanting to become you enter heat also do you get that now so so that that, that that is how it is it's just like let me use an example sorry it's just like asu strike has been for, since january if you're a student and of course probably uh good for you you're able to learn uh one or two things from january to probably october before you guys resumed so 
Now, a student, another level, another uh, uh, student of your age, of your uh, department, of your level is in Boeing in University. They didn't stop academics. They've, they kept pushing up, pushing up. Now, by the time time catch up with both of you, you understand that now? Actualizing both stream, nothing would affect each other because you've been able to utilize the times you were not even in academic session as much as possibly possibly well and the one reading and going to the university uh, studying already she's also he or she is also actualizing his or her dream by studying because there is no strike holding them down do you get that now so by the time you both of you meet in the future there you won't really see any loophole you won't really see any loophole you won't really see any uh stuffs bringing you down now it will now will not really now be wise now saying, okay, after this 10 month of ASU strike, which is gone already, time cannot wait, you know. You now start saying, okay, what I did not learn during that strike, let me now start learning. No, it doesn't really work that way. So only if you now say, okay, the only way you can now do that is now putting burning sleepless nights, just to make sure you catch up with the time you have actually really push out. So that is why it is very important for you to understand, to, for you to manage your time. Now, what you have now, is not money, you have money now. You don't have the future at hand now. But what you have, which is the tangibility of how certain the future you are hoping to become is, is the time you have with you, is the time you have in your hands. Thank you. Yeah, um, we have um, this other question says what can be a way out of the future that the what can what can be a way out of the future that the present is not in line with uh i try want to get the context um sorry I'll be, i would really appreciate if we put a little bit of context in the question so that way it makes it much easier um, to be able to answer is okay. So, but from what the person is saying, I want to more like assume. Um, it says what can be a way out of the future that is that the present is not aligned with. So, for example, let's say uh, a way out of the future, not a way out of the present. Mm. I, I don't know if I really understand the question anyways, but maybe the person wants to put a little bit more context into it, please, so that um, um, yes, that, 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 so that, that would be much better. But if you say, what can be a way out of the future that the present is not in line with? I mean, not in the future that the present is not in line with anyways. But that's by the side, please, if you can just put a little bit of context into it, we'd appreciate um let's go to this next question then we await the person to put the little context and also um mr tomiwa if um if there is a way you could uh, put a little bit of context into this if it hasn't been answered <clears throat> but i believe it has been answered though but if uh, maybe a little bit of context would help um this person says thanks for the insightful session sir at the point sir you Welcome. mentioned how building self-confidence and expanding the mind are part of the factors in easing into the future. My question is, how do we build our self-confidence and expand our minds, especially in a generation where imposter syndrome seems to be in play? Uh, I mean, imposter syndrome. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, um, so the question is, how do we build our self-confidence and expand our minds? I think those are the key words. Um, so especially in a generation where we have this big, huge of imposter syndrome, which has become uh, far greater than a disease to our generation. Okay. Um, Adeleke right. Messi and Fanny Tomua would appreciate, especially Adeleke Messi, I guess, um, a little bit of context. Yes, sir, you can go on, sir. All right, all right. So, uh, well, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, let me just spend that. Okay, uh, what I would say is this. Uh, he said, how can we 
uh, my question is how do we build our self-confidence? Self -confidence. Okay, let, me, let, let, let me answer that first. So because I believe the hand is a conjunction, so it's joining the question alongside. So let me just answer that first so that so, that, so I can just, uh, you know, uh, try to simplify the question out to the barest minimum so that it can be beneficial to everybody. Now, the first thing is that how to increase your self-confidence? Well, uh, okay. <laughs> the first thing is that, you know, uh, the first thing about self-confidence is that, for, for instance, let, 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 me, let, let me give you an example, right? One of the ways uh, you, you, you tend to build your self-confidence, like your personal self-confidence, you can, you can only build your self-confidence in your area of expertise. You get that now? Now, I can't, I can't, I can't be, I can't be a doctor now, and I'm trying to build my self-confidence being an engineer, it's not possible. You get that now. Now, the first thing is that you, uh, the belief you have in yourself for, for the capacity you hold in your profession or in what you tend to say you know how to do is the first checklist to building your self-confidence. Do you get that now? So now, if, of course, you don't, you are not good or you don't have an hands-on experience or you don't have a mental experience uh, based on what you are trying to profess or what you are trying to defend as your personal self or, or as your personal uh, uh, case study now. So uh, I don't think it's good enough to build your self-confidence in that. It's just like you are trying to, uh, it's just like you are trying to make the word imposter syndrome uh, come to pass in, in, in yourself, right? So, but the first thing is that uh, once you are able to, okay, have one or two or little or more hands-on experience on something, definitely, right? So uh, building self-confidence is paramount. That is the first checklist to building self-confidence because you already have one or two uh, hands-on experience. Now, uh, and continue uh, going forward now to ensuring that you there's emphasis being laid on that self-confidence in you. Like there's self-confidence, there's emphasis being laid that, of course, even if you are saying, yeah, okay, let, let, let me say in, in, in part four, when I was doing my, when I was doing my IT defense, right? So uh, I, of course, I, I, I did my IT defense around, uh, uh, I graduated from electric electronics. So I did my IT defense around a particular section in electric, that was, our, that was telecom, right? So, and what they really taught us was not really major part of telecom. So they just taught us some stuff, but the little things, things they taught us. So I needed to ensure that, I, I knew it letter for letter, word for word. So the guys, the, the professors I was talking to, uh, the doctors I was, I was talking to, they were, they were from power department. So they, know, they, they knew little about uh, you know, telecommunication. So uh, as I was telling, as I was talking to them, at the point I knew I was saying rubbish, but I knew that you know, even with this little hands on experience I built in this uh, IT I did, this industrial technology, uh, uh, information, sorry, is it IT now? Information technology, or what's, what's that? Uh, industrial training, rather, sorry, that I, I built, right? So I, I was able to lay emphasis and, you know, keep, you know, uh, moving, beating around the understanding of what I knew. So at the point they were like, Chaman, don't finish us with English, right? So just take your ear and go. Like that was what they told me. Just take your ear. You are too, you are, you are okay. We are okay. We are okay. Just take your ear. Because, you know, I was able to, I validated myself that even with the 10% of things I have actually learned, I needed to, you know, I brooded myself upon it. Like continuously brooding myself. It makes, it made me, came, it, it brought me out. Like it's, it, 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 it brought out my, my, my need. My need was to have A. And I had 71A. So that was that was how it happened. But now, you know, pr probably I, I already defeated myself that oh, oh you don't you only know 10% of it now. And of course, it's it's not like I didn't do I, I did, I knew 10%. So I knew that the 10% was the best for me to bring out what I actually needed, and I brought it out. You get that now. So that is how it works. That, that's how you build self-confidence. You have to first validate yourself that this thing, okay. Uh yes, it does structure. Thank you. So I got that already. So, uh, you, 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 so, and that is how self-confidence is, is built. And also expanding our minds. Let me, let, let me, let me tell you how expanding one's mind works. Uh, uh, and 
that that's I'm telling you based on what I've learned and uh, what works for me definitely right now the first way you you and you tend to ensure that uh, 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 ensure that expanding your mind works is that uh, you have to ensure that you have to be sure that you are bringing yourself into realm of possibilities based on what you based on what you know or based on what you want to do or based on what you're becoming you get that now now there's nothing impossible i i, I tend not to say it, there's nothing impossible because now the part of my becoming is my pathway this is the pathway and this is the part of my becoming now i start you know i start bringing myself to the realm of possibilities that you know there's nothing really impossible like there's i've tried it and I've, it, it works fine like I bring my thoughts, like my thought pattern. When you start bringing your thought pattern, your thinking pattern, your mental your mental state to a point that there's nothing impossible for you based on what you are trying, the path you are trading. You understand? Not that you are trading on another, man, another man's part. You understand? And you are trading on another man's part and you are trading, uh, 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 you are saying there's nothing impossible. Fine, there's nothing impossible, but it might take long. But what you've been working in this part already. Now, you get that now. Now, bringing yourself to expanding your mind in that area now becomes exhausting as much as possible. Every available means or every, every possibility that has happened around that. For instance, now, you know, I was talking about, uh, 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 what's it called now? Uh, uh, the other time. I said it was, it was one of the most successful neurosurgeons in the world, right? So, and of course, so now, now say, let me, let me say I'm a medical doctor now. So definitely, and I'm going into that path too. If uh, 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 this guy has done over 50, he has, he, he, if he has done over 50 successful head operation, definitely I can say, if he can do that, definitely there's really nothing impossible for me to even doing over 100. Now, I mean, now I knew, I, I, I knew that that shows I'm putting much more work now. So you keep, you now start imagining, like there's this imaginary, uh, understanding you start bringing to your brain you start bringing to your memory that to the fact that you start seeing yourself in places that could make this thing happen you understand that you start seeing yourself like you start seeing yourself like you're com sometimes i see myself uh, don't, don't let me don't let me tell you that one right so, so sometimes i see myself and and to a point at which you know you start dreaming about this thing you start bringing it into life you, you sometimes you have the feeling of the person that has done something great you are intending to do you have the feeling of the person beside you sometimes sometimes you have the feeling of probably you you guys are conversing so when you start you so it's a thought of possibilities so and it expands consciously and unconsciously it keeps expanding your mind and okay you now say especially in the regeneration where imposter syndrome seems to be to be a play now what i understand about imposter syndrome is uh let me let me try to say it in a uh in a lima language i like you are trying to like a persistent inability to believe that one success is deserved. You know, you have you have been you are, uh, like probably you, you did something and uh, it's really not believable that uh, uh, you you actually did this. I think that's what imposter imposter syndrome is called, right? So okay, so uh, it's 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 not a problem. It's not a problem. It surely uh, stops when when that. So. But when, once you are, what could eradicate that? What could eradicate this kind of imposter syndrome is uh, the level at which uh, you've expanded your mind and you've boosted your self-confidence, right? you boosted us. Now, years back, uh, there, there were years back at which I could not, you know, I, I knew I knew probably I had a pathway in probably entrepreneurship or something. So I, I could not even face, I could not even talk face to face to managers, right? I could not even talk to face to face to managers, right? I, I, once I start talking to them, I start sh shaking, right? So, but you know, when this thought of possibilities and thought of uh, and you know continuous thought of possibility and expansion of mind, explained now, brought came into place. Even you know, I I I I, I tend to sit down and cross my leg and be like, okay, this is this is what I, I take control of the conversation now. So you understand that the person that could not even withstand conversation can now take control of conversation from someone that has been in the system for many years. You get that now. So that is that is how it works. So uh, the ways you eradicate this imposter syndrome is just uh, expansion of mind. So it's relatable to each other and boosting your self confidence continuously. You can start pushing that by facing your mirror. You can you know look into your mirror and you know 
you talk to yourself, right? You talk to yourself, and those are the stuffs that makes stuffs happen. Now you, you, you start doing that continuously. Yeah, thank you. I hope that helps. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, thank you so much. Uh, yes. I, so um, there was a point that he made mention, which I, I just want to more like bring one or two things to you so that we can. Uh, so uh, you talk about expanding our mind, uh, which is quite important, especially when we come to the aspect of self-confidence and um, expand, expanding our mind. So there are these acronyms, uh, more like it, that helps, which is EDEPT. Um, so E is exposure, um, because there is no way your mind can work without exposure. So no matter where you want to put yourself into, for you to gain that self-confidence, you need to be in that um, environment, your mind needs to be in that environment that um, brings you into, to be in charge, like you said. So you need to feed your mind with a whole lot of exposure. For example, let's say someone that wants to speak with, um, uh, let's say someone like, let me say Dan Gute, right? So you need to feed your mind the content of someone that has spoken to people above Dan Gute, so that your mind can conceive that kind of exposure. Because if your mind cannot conceive that kind of exposure, it becomes difficult for your mind to be able to, um, to be at peace when it's talking, right? Another thing is D, D means data. No matter who you want to, if you want to build your confidence, one of those things that is really important is data. Um, this word, especially now that we are, anybody that will try propose food or anybody that will try on a global level needs to have data. You don't just come from nowhere and just say A is B, B is C. The person that has data becomes more reasonable. The reason why you pay manager more than the person that is doing the work is because the manager has data. So the manager know who we need to send this thing to, who we generate that income. He has information. The other person just know the technical know-how. Nobody cares about that in quotes. Um, so in the hierarchy, the person with data is always greater than the person with the knowledge because he has enough data to um, justify the knowledge. But the other person just has the knowledge. Right, so this even goes across to creative work, maybe freelance and all those things. The person that knows how to communicate or negotiate will gain more than the person that has the skills, right? Because the other person has data for communication, right? Um, the other one is excellence, right? The more you help yourself to pursue excellence, the more it becomes um, easy for you at the point, right? Um, just like someone that has done, let's say in school, and then in a course like, let's say mathematics, in your first year, you had A or 90. So the next one, there's this level of confidence that that one has helped you to because it's of that level of excellence, right? Um, we have P, which means partnership, right? Uh, for you to help yourself, you need to bring yourself into that environment whereby you could be with someone. For someone that is working in a company, you want to present, you have presentation tomorrow. And um, you know, this presentation you have tomorrow is with, um, let's say, CEO or stakeholder and the likes. What do you do? You go and meet another person within the stakeholder board and let the person understand what you are working towards. So the aspect that the person understands what you are working towards and you have pushed that thing to the person and the person can say, okay, correct this, correct that. You don't want to, by the time you are presenting, because you have that person in that board, so it becomes easy for you because you are seeing that person. The person has given you information. Even what you are saying does not make sense, but you have that person inside that board. So no matter what you are saying, the person will give you that confidence and say, go on. Even at a point and um, you said something that it doesn't make sense, the person can stand up and say, no, that's not what you mean. That This is what you mean. Why? Partnership, right? Uh, it boosts your self-confidence. At the one that... Um, um, that is T, T is teamwork, and H is hard work. So all these things, they are acronyms, but if you bring them together, they can help as factors that can really, really push you beyond where you are to that, that level of mind that no matter who you are, you are with, you can still uh, um, say one or two things, you can still perform, right? And like he said, imposter syndrome is something that uh, is, is, is almost general, right? 
And um, at every juncture, at every point, it will come to you. There is nobody on earth that it has not come to at, at every point. So at every point, it will eat you. So your reaction is what um, really shows your maturity, right? It's not yeah. that it doesn't come. Yeah. It's just your reaction shows your maturity in it, right? It's just when someone tells you that you are stupid, and A will react to it. B will just don't mind. You just say, okay, thank you. And the other person look at it, thank me for saying you are stupid. You get it. So your reaction at some point just makes the difference, right? Um, so just to expand what uh, Mr. Steven said, right? Um, so um, yeah, I mean, that is it for my end. Adele uh, Kimes, uh, I think we, that, she, I'm not sure if she's still online. Um, Adele Kimesi, maybe you want to talk and explain it a little bit more so that uh, Mr. Steven can take the question. Uh, All right. Adele Kimesi, maybe she's somewhere noisy or so. Okay, um, if there is no more question, uh, I sincerely want to thank Mr. Steven for this opportunity. Thank you for coming. Thank you so, so much for uh, the session. We really appreciate you, sir. Thank you for the session. I, I jot down quite a lot of things here uh, to be able to work through personally as uh, something for me to take away from this and begin to work on and um, adjust things that I, I think that I know before, but there is now more clarity on me. So thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate from my end. Um, so everyone, I, I, I just want you to appreciate Mr. Steven. Guys, say thank you to Mr. Steven. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.